I got another aquaponics update for you here. I'll give you an overview of the system so far. Uh, a few more changes. Uh, hopefully it'll it's getting down to where it is. The first major change is I got the grow beds here and you can see I have my auto siphons here and you can see them down there. You can see by the other up videos I did the auto siphons. There's the shroud I made. Uh, I'm gonna top that in a kind of a dip plastic when I get some of the top of that screen material but until then I just won't get any cut so I put that tape on top. One of the first big changes I'm doing is I was going to use expanded shale, but I found a place online, and I'll put the link below, where if I order 45 bags of those clay pellets, because I really wanted them, but the cost, I could get them for $20.95 a bag, where the most inexpensive I could find them around the North Texas area is $34 a bag. So that's a big difference, and I get them delivered right to my door. Now I'll need about six for each of these beds, so that's only 18. So I will have enough for my next edition right away, plus some more, So which is nice, so I won't have to worry. So I just broke down and got it. Uh, the, the big change I'm doing is the tank is there, uh, and I'll back up a little bit. I was going to have the nursery right there, remember I was talking about, but I'll be adding a second tank right there here right in the middle of where my camera is on this side of the post and what it's going to do is the pump that comes from the sump tank over here is going to pump water back over there you know then it comes back by gravity when I get the second tank I'm going to make get a second pump that's going to pump water from here over to this bed that'll be right here and gravity will take it over back to that bed and then it'll go through the system that way when I add a second fish tank. Uh, but here's the big thing. Here's the tank. Uh, I'll let you see the top. Uh, these are deck boards. The composite cement I got from my neighbor. Uh, he, gave, he gave them to me. These were extra he had when he redid his porch. I got three, then a hinge, three, then a hinge. Uh, you can see this side comes up. This side comes up, and these middle stay in the same. And I'll show you the inside. And the hinge, I got it here. What I kind of plan on doing is, it might not make sense when the water pumps up, I'm going to tee it. I'm going to make this a grow bed area here and slope it down where my seedlings can be on in here, where some water will trickle down below the seedlings and it'll... Uh, water from the bottom up. When I get that done, I'll show if that doesn't make sense. I got some water in here, degassing it, just letting it sit here to try to get some of the chlorine, and uh, that way we can get clean. But you can kind of see the pipe in there. You can kind of see it better if I open up the other side. There it is here. It's open on the top right here, and gravity just takes it from the bottom. There's holes at the bottom of that pipe. It comes up and out and through gravity comes right here and down. Now I do have a clear plastic elbow. I just like to make sure I see water and stuff coming out. Uh, and I forgot to tell you, one nice thing I like about this top here is these are fairly heavy. If you're old enough to lift that up, you're old enough not to get into trouble by the fish tank. So then what happens is it comes down here and I gotta, can turn it off there. And this is gonna be my solids removal right here comes in here, goes down, and then it'll come up from way at the bottom. It's open about six, seven inches at the bottom. And I'll try to go up a little bit so you can see it. But as you can see, the water will go down and back up, and the solids will stay at the bottom. Now, I got this pipe sticking up here. I just don't have a drain kit for this yet. And I got this up just to keep the water out. So if when I fill it up, water just doesn't come out, you know, there. So that'll actually be a spigot down there. And the same thing with this one right there. There's a pipe coming up, that'll be a spigot too. So the water comes down, it'll come up, and then it'll come in here, and then it'll just go down here, you know, and the solids will be there. Then I can, uh, out the bottom there, drain out the solids when I need to. This right here right now will be, for now, my mineralization tank. When I get my second 
tank in, it'll probably have to become my biofilter when I'll have that media in there. But the water will come in here by gravity, go down to the bottom, and then come up slowly, and right here. Uh, and if I need more oxygen, I can just put some oxygen in here, you know, stone. And it'll come out here and come down, and I get to, got it stopped right here for now. But what's going to happen is this PVC is going to go down to the ground, over and underneath, and it's going to come up right over in here and dump into here. And then the pump's going to be here, and then it's going to tee off. One tee is going to go to these three beds, and one tee back to that tank over there. So that's kind of the aquaponics update right now. Uh, a lot of little plumbing, and uh, it... it Took a little while working on this stuff here. A uh, couple changes I had to make is I got I had to add a couple extra cinder blocks underneath these down here. It was just too much weight with the water and stuff inside there. It would start to go down and this would buckle in really, really bad. You know, right here the side would buckle in. So I had to add some more support underneath. And then over here I got this metal shelf from a friend of mine. Uh, I'm going to line the bottom and I'm going to put two batteries down there, two nice deep cycle 12 volt batteries and I'm going to run them in parallel which means I'll still have 12 volt but I'll just have longer life basically and my outlet will be there as soon as I get it done and what's going to happen is I'm going to have a smart charger hooked up from the outlet to the batteries okay and then I'll have an inverter hooked up to those and then I will have the inverter will go to my air pump if I need it and my water pump in here my sump pump what that's going to do is it's going to be running all the time off power but if I have a power outage which may be in the country a lot of times when I sneeze you know too loud you know power goes out out here I will have I'm, I just kind of looked at what I had for power from the batteries with the two running in parallel and if just the pump is running I will probably get 18 to 20 hours off those two and that's very very conservative realistically I'll probably get 30 to 35 hours off of those two batteries so that gives me a lot of time uh, if I'm not here if I'm gone I don't have to worry and then if it becomes an issue what I can do is park my vehicle close if we have an extended power outage or my tractor uh, you can see my tractors right out there and I can park it right outside this window here uh, right here just right here here's still the barrel I have with water in it from the winter I need to pick up and there's sealing some stuff but uh, I can get the inverter on that battery and then I can run it quite a while because I keep a lot of diesel uh, the one thing I did is I want to pass on is this board here, what I'm using to separate. Uh, I was trying to find something that's waterproof that is inert and won't break down. And what this actually is, that's that sign material. This is one from my shop. I just took the stickers off here. But it's the exact same material as you use for those elections, you know, you see on the side of the road. So if you're thinking about doing this and you want one, next time there's an election, if you know a candidate you like, go ask them for a nice big sign for your yard. Put it up in your yard, and the day after the election, take it, keep it, and you can have something like this for your system because this it's inert, it's hard, it won't break down because it's not water soluble, and it'll work. It works perfect to divide it. And I just got some uh, silicone dividing that here because it's since the barrel kind of you know widens in the middle and got the cracks here and everything you know I uh, just to seal it uh, and that caulk is safe to use in this environment here so and I do have a bulk fitting there and I got a bulk fitting there I got a union seal a union seal and a union seal there so those are the union seals I have and down at the bottom I got two bulk fittings there and there's what I used so I used a combination of bulk fittings 
and union seals. I would have used union seals more, but I didn't have any more, and I already had bulk fittings also. I had did another project a year or two ago, so I just used them since I had it. So that's kind of the system update right now. Let me go back, and I'll give you one more kind of look at what's going on. Uh, my delivery of my clay pellets should be here tomorrow. So I'll be putting those in and doing another video update. So those are the three. And the next thing I will do after this is done is right where these blueberries are at, I will build three more beds. And when those beds are completely done, then I will add another tank right here. And when that tank is going against this wall here, I'll add a bunch of water, uh, deep water baths right here. I'll build them myself and line them. And then, you know, have the styrofoam on top where I'll grow lettuce and stuff on them over there. So that's kind of an update right here. That's one of the reasons I got this and I'll have a lot of, I'm going overkill on my, you know, the solids removal, the mineralization tank and the bio because with the food, two fish tanks, I'll have a lot of deep water bath, you know, where I'll be growing stuff in water and you want that pretty clean to keep, you know, sediments and stuff off the roots of the plants. So that's just the update right there. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. Uh, if you want to see something in more particular detail or anything, just let me know. Have a great day, everybody.